Mark, welcome to my home. This is phase four and the final episode of our lead acid to lithium battery conversion for our tab trailer. I have a 2015 tab trailer and because I'll be doing some uh, boondocking out there this year, I wanted to upgrade my battery. My battery in my uh, trailer is a a uh, 75 amp hour battery lead acid which means i can get about 35 out of it um so i wanted to replace that uh, small uh, lead acid battery with a better lithium um in that process um to do it right um it it takes more than just dropping in a lead acid battery you can do that um you make some compromises that i didn't want to make when doing that so in phase one in the first video i replaced the converter that was in my tab trailer with a converter that knows how to charge a lithium battery in phase two i put heavier gauge wire from the alternator up front in my truck back to my seven pin connector so that um this battery this lithium battery can get the the current it needs um, to charge well. In, st in phase three, I put in, in the tub of the trailer where this battery is going, I put in a what's called a DC to DC converter. So just like my trailer, my truck knows how, knows how to charge a lithium battery. The alternator um, and battery that's in your truck is a lead acid battery. So the alternator doesn't know how to charge a lithium battery any more than the converter in the the trailer used to know how to charge a lithium battery. So now my trailer knows how to charge this battery and my truck knows how to charge this battery. So let's put this battery in. Um, no big deal, lithium batteries, you get as big as you want or whatever. This one's special and I searched around for it for a long time. <clears throat> the couple of things that are important. Number one is that since this was gonna go outside in the tub of my trailer, um, you, those of you that know about lithium battery know that you're not supposed to charge it if it gets below um, freezing. So this guy has circuitry in it that will prevent it from being charged. If the temperature outside drops down below freezing, this guy will stop charging so not to hurt the battery. Um, the second thing that's about, <coughs> excuse me, the second thing about this battery that's important, take a look at that size. Batteries are measured in what's called group numbers. Um, most lithium ion batteries are group 27. Most um, lead acid batteries um, in your trailers are group 24. This, I searched all over for this thing, this is a group 24 100 amp hour lithium battery. What, why is that good? Well, the nice thing here is I can just drop this in. I don't have to get a different battery box. I don't have to make changes to the carrier. This goes right in where the lead acid did. The other thing I like about it, it's got big posts. Some of these batteries come with little dinky screw posts and uh, th that's not great because you can't get a lot of current out of them. But yeah, this guy's got the two things I was looking for. It's got a temperature controller on its, on its battery management system so it won't damage itself if it gets cold out. Um, two, it is a group 24 size, so it's the same size, physical size, as the lead acid I'm taking out. And three, it comes with good size um, connector bolts. So let's go out to the trailer and we will just drop this in. Uh, let's go at it. Back in a bit.
Okay, here we are out of the trailer. This is my new battery. That's the original lead acid battery. And we're looking in here. This is my Victron shunt. Um, the nice thing about these two batteries is that the negative post is back here and the positive post is, is here. It's on that side. It's the exact same locations on this battery. So I won't have to do much with, with anything. So I'm gonna take that battery out, take this shunt off, um, drop this battery in, put the shunt on. I'll also need to reprogram. This shunt is now, um, it knows it's connected to a lead acid battery. I have to tell it it's connected to a lithium battery and that the lithium battery is um, 100 amp hours. Um, I also have to program my DC to DC con controller um, chargers so that it knows that it's charging a lithium battery rather than a lead acid battery. So it's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to go ahead and pull this battery out. Um, you want to, before you do any of this work, as always, you want to disconnect your trailer from street power and you want to disconnect the positive lead of your battery so you don't uh, shock yourself. But I'm just going to go ahead and drop this battery in that location and then I'll program um, these two devices and we'll test. Excellent. See you in a Okay, bit. I have the two batteries out. That's uh, the original battery out. And you can see now... That's really nice to have the new lithium battery the same size as the lead acid, so it'll go down in the exact same place. I don't have to make any modifications. That's a big deal. So we'll go ahead and drop this in. Oh, we got a little bonus feature. Bonus feature. Um, everyone talks about how much uh, lighter a lithium battery is than a lead acid. I wanted to actually do a demonstration for you. This is... A 75 amper hour lead acid battery, which means I can get about 35 amps or hours out of it. That's because a lead acid battery, you can only draw down to about 50%. So this is a 35 amper hour battery. This is a 100 amp hour battery. Well, there's a scale. I'm gonna put the lead acid battery on there. Lead acid battery weighs. 41.5 pounds. How much does a lithium weigh? Lithium weighs 21. <laughs> so, this lithium battery is three times as powerful as a lead battery at half the weight. So there you go. That's something when you start working through these numbers. This is three times the electrical size with only half the weight of the lead acid. So we're going to go ahead and put it in the in the, the uh, trailer and get it wired up. But I thought you'd like to, to see just how much lighter a lithium battery is than lead acid. Yay! So we are in place. New battery fits right in the same place. Got a new strap to hold down my uh, Victron Smart Shunt. Um, the nice thing about it is when I put the battery cover on here, this will look like a lead acid battery. It won't be the bigger case and won't give away that it's a uh, uh, lithium battery. Um, kind of a theft deterrent thing. Somebody opened this up, looks like a regular battery when it's covered. So now I just need to program that and program that and we are done. Yay! Okay, here we are. Check that out. Everything's in place. Battery's in the same battery box, so when you look in here, it doesn't scream, lithium battery, steal me. <laughs> it just looks like a regular lead acid. Um, my controller down there, my DC to DC controller, um, you, to get it out, you, you have to take out the propane tank and everything, so it's pretty secure too. Um, not that that's going to... Um, stop any determinant guy, but the fact that it doesn't advertise anything special is nice. Anyway, thanks for sticking with me. That was phase four. My trailer now has a lithium battery, 100 amp per hour, as opposed to the 35 that I had before. Should do wonders for our uh, um, boondocking. Anyway, take care, drive safe.